Hey guys, welcome back. So do you know what tomorrow is? It is session number three of the Madonna Eye Lift. So this is sort of a two-in-one video. I wanted to show you today what I'm looking like. I've got an extra light up there. I hope you can see. I'm not really sure how well you can see that or not. But I know it's blinding me. So far, I've been really, really, really happy with the results. I do, you can see I still have the brown, the hyperpigmentation there. And that's probably gonna last, you know? I'm kind of wondering, and I'm gonna ask my doctor, you know, what is that? Is that like, I don't know, a suntan from the laser or what the heck, because I don't know what it is. So now that you guys have seen the before, I'm gonna put my makeup on and I'm gonna refer you guys back to a video before I started this so you can see if you can tell a difference in what you're seeing because I'm looking and I'm like, oh well, heck yeah, there's a difference there. But you know what, I don't know. I don't know, I looked back at the first video the other night and I'm like, there's a huge difference but you guys let me know you tell me the next part I wanted to kind of get ready with me guys and I wanted to tell you about some new products that I'm using that I'm freaking loving let's get started with that okay the first thing I think I mentioned to you guys I started using it cosmetics CC cream the color corrector with because it has a 50 plus SPF because of my eyes. I wanted to make sure, especially when I'm in the sun, that this investment is protected. And I have been, even though it's, well, it says it's full coverage and I know I'm going to be diluting the SPF on my face because I thought I was already, what the heck? Like I've said before, I dilute this with about three drops per pump for my face so I get a more sheer coverage. I don't want to cover all of my skin, let some of it show, right? But I won't dilute it under my eyes. And I got a new blush that I want to try and it is by Hourglass. I want to say yes, it's by Hourglass. And I'm wanting to try that because I've had a really hard time finding blushes that I like. These have to be really careful blending around those rings because if makeup gets stuck there, it looks really ugly. So now that I've got the CC cream on my face, I'm going to go under where these dark circles are with, you know, you can't beat it. Sometimes you have these products that are, they want $80, $90 for. Why? When I can use something like this, this NYX color correcting, and this is in the light to medium, I, I believe, dark, surler, dark circle corrector. It works fantastic. Once again, I take a little bit of oil, a little bit of grapeseed oil, and I put it in my hand one drop and I'm going to mix that in my brush to get the oil on my brush before I use this. You know I want coverage but I don't want anything really thick and like I always do I'm squirting down a clean beauty blender with the Marc Jacobs it's called um, Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And I will do a video for you guys again like I have for the last two sessions when I get out of the doctor tomorrow and probably on the way there. And I'm not sure, but he may allow us to video some over there. I, I don't know. But if we can, I'm going to do it. Now I'm using the Tarte 
my go-to cart tart concealer that is so worn off fairly light neutral is what it is the tart this stuff stays in place I just use a tiny tiny little bit as you can see fill in the line these little lines I've been doing derma rolling it allows the products to penetrate better yeah I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, derma line. Since I can't wear makeup after this procedure, I think what I'm going to do is derma roll tomorrow afterwards. I'll ask the doctor to make sure that it's okay or I might do the day after I have it done because I want most of my blood flow and everything going to my eye area to, to help heal those little micro channels with this CO2 fractional laser. And my daughter-in-law called me the other day and she had spoken to her doctor. He hadn't heard of the Madonna lift and I'm not sh really sure how many people offer this. I know the CO2 fractional laser is what it is. I don't know if people have different names of it you know, depending on where they are, their practice, whatever. I don't know. But he had never heard of it. Completely lost my train of thought. Okay, I'm going to put on top of my shadow today. Not a lot, but I'm going to use the Urban Decay. All of this stuff I have bought myself. I have paid for it. That way I can give you completely and unbiased what I feel about it. That NYX color corrector, I love it the IT Cosmetics Color Correcting Cream. I love it. Use my finger to blend this in since it's nice and warm. Oh my gosh, guys, I have to tell you, I have been struggling for a, quite a while with vertigo, ear infections, sinus infections, allergies, things of that nature. Well, while I was on the internet doing some research, I came across a lot of articles on activated bamboo charcoal. So I went on to Amazon and I bought a lot of these. This one here is called, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. Yeah, My Sit, it's filled with activated bamboo charcoal. Their claims are that it captures pollens, bacteria, mold, mildew, humid, humidity, dust, dust mite, allergens, anything that may be in the air. My eyes have been running all, almost continually. I started taking Sudafed and antihistamines and everything and they they stopped but then it just it started back I bought these and I am not kidding you I put it by my bed that night right by my pillow and I put another one on my air purifier that I have in my bedroom the next morning when I woke up my ears were clear my eyes didn't run my nose is still running and I know that that is a side effect of one of my medications so that, you know, I'm just going to deal with. This is the Anastasia Brow in Brow Pencil and Taupe. I can't believe my eyebrows. I've been using castor oil, like I told you. My eyebrows are like growing back like weeds. This is awesome, I think. Yeah, my eyebrows, they're totally growing in. I mean, you know, I think a lot of women my age went way overboard when we were teenagers with our eyebrows, right? It's like I was going to have my dad's eyebrows, which I do have my dad's eyebrows, but they're growing back. I still have to use the brow pencil a little bit. I've thought about microblading, but really, really. Do I want to do that and be stuck with it for five more years or however many? I don't know how long it lasts, but no. And then the, the girl that pierced my nose said she could tattoo fine hairlines. Do I really want that? No. 
yeah, I've got them all over me, but on my face, no, I'm kind of like a little weirded out about having a tattoo on my face. Ooh, one eyebrow is bigger than the other. Imagine that. When I feel, feel on my brows, it still like freaks me out. It's like, ah, when I have no more makeup on. That's that, but you know what? What the hell ever. Whatever. So what I'm gonna do since I, <laughs> since I made that comment, I'm gonna try this blush out. Okay, here it is. It's, there's the freaking glare on here. It's Hourglass and the color is Radiant Magenta. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. So let's try it. I've been having trouble finding a blush that's not too purple, not too pink, not too orange. And so I'm hoping this might be it. Let's see. Ooh, I'm liking it. It's pretty. I like that. Try not to go down too far. Try to see on my cheekbone and up. My pupil and over. So it will lift or at least help give the illusion of my face being lifted some. You know, these always freak me out because when they do the gradient colors like that, I'm always worried, you know, what it, what's it gonna be like underneath? How much is really color and how much is nothing? But this has color. It looks like it has color. Actually, it has more color than my NARS I was using or my Makeup Forever, and I like that. And it looks like it is the perfect neutral shade for me. I'm not going to do any contouring today. It is going to be a uh, minimal makeup. As if I ever really do minimal. Okay, and then this is just remnants of a powder from the other day. Yeah, you can still see the blush. Yay! I put before I started, I put a little bit of grapeseed oil. I'm I'm really digging this stuff, guys. On my lips as sort of a primer and a moisturizer. And now I'm gonna be using this. I'm loving this Huda Beauty matte lipstick and gloss it's from one of their strobe kits and i wish i had the kit here to show you but i'm sure i've shown you before it's with the lips this one is the lighter one and i'm gonna have to use the the phone just to read these here bombshell and ritzy are the colors i'm not going to use the pencil because i don't really care for the pencil it's a little too soft for me i found out in with the other colors that I've tried. Oh, this looks a little orangey. I hope it's not too orange. Oh, I'm liking that color. I'll let this dry before I put the gloss on it. For me, I'm finding that Huda, this liquid matte, is truly a non-transferable all day lip color. Okay, to start off on my eyes today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Urban Decay. Ooh, I just slammed that shut now, didn't I? Urban Decay Smoky Palette to start off with. With their color here called High, which is shimmery. But when I get it on, it doesn't go all out shimmer metallic on me, which is fine. Which is, you know, really a good thing, I think. One thing, you know, I see a lot of people do is fall into you should and you shouldn't. But when it comes to makeup, do what you want to do because it's makeup. It's going to wash off. If you don't like it, you can redo it. It's not like having to have a bad tattoo cover up, which I know, slam that again, sorry, which I know all too much about. I have a couple more cover ups to go. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Chanel Le Crayon Cole 
and the color is noir. And I'm just going to, well, I'm going to use the mirror right here. Go along my lash line pretty closely. And then I'm going to blend this in with a smudge brush so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to use this little Anastasia Beverly Hills smudge brush. Just kind of blend this in tight to my turn the mirror around again. Magnifying side for this eye. Work it into my eyelashes and then start pulling it up a little bit. So far, so good. Turn the mirror around again. It's kind of scary looking from there to there because everything is so much lighter in the monitor than it is in the bathroom. I don't want everything to be so dark, but I do want that emphasis. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this blush again with a blending brush. And this is, I don't know whose blending brush this is. I'm going to kind of give me a little bit of a transition color. Oh, it's pretty. You know, guys, just because something is labeled blush, eyeshadow, lipstick, whatever, it doesn't mean that's where it has to go. You can mix and match the way you want to. It's hot in here. I'm going to the floor. Now, my favorite little dome brush from Bare Minerals that I've had since the dawn of time. I'm going to go over, I mean, I'm using the Anastasia Subculture. Love this company. I love this palette. I'm going to use the color Rowdy, which is right here. And this is so pigmented that you have to be really careful because you can end up with a ton of makeup on your face when you really didn't want that much. I'm starting at the outer corners and I'm going to work in pulling up and in. Not quite enough. I'm going to go back over with what's left on my concealer brush just to clean up any fallout and any makeup that went somewhere I didn't want it to go. Looks looking pretty good. At least. Right now, I get lost. My mind, I swear, it's like a squirrel. Everywhere, every freaking where. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Generally, I warm the eyelash curler up before I do this, but my blow dryer is not plugged in. I just can hold it for a little longer than usual. I'm going to be using the MAC primer, and it is false, false lashes extensions. And I know you can't see that because, like I said, the lighting sucks. But I'm working on a room in my house. I'll show you guys a little later. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? For a studio with the right lighting. Other side. 
Oh, my lash is in there. I think it's about time for a new eyelash curler. And I don't curl my lashes all the time, maybe twice a month. What I've been doing is using those little single lashes by Ardell, putting the mediums on the outside and blending in with the short length. All right, a lot of people do this. Don't do that. You're gonna get air in there, it's gonna dry everything out. Wrap your wand around the inside of the tube. Take off the excess. Voila. It's hard to see. I like my lashes to look more full on the outer corners, so it makes my eyes, at least in my mind, bigger, more open. Okay, I'm gonna try this mascara. I have not used it before, I don't think. It does not look like it's been open, but I've had it for a long time. Oh, a couple months. Monsoor Big by Lancome. And I'm twisting it around, everyone. Right at the base, wiggle, wiggle. Come back to that one in a minute. on top and pull out hopefully to cover any primer that may have gotten on top of my lashes I'm liking this mascara except it got a little clumpy right there but that's okay like I said there are redos in makeup it just so happens my redo on this one will be tomorrow or maybe not tomorrow later on next week Almost done. All I have to do now is put on the gloss for this Huda Beauty lip color. And it looks very, very light. Can you see that? It looks very, very light. But that's okay. Let's check this out together, guys. Ah, it's light. Oh, which is fine. I like that. One last step with my makeup, and that is, this is another product that I've used. I just got it. I've used it a few times, and I'm loving it, and it's by Becca, and I think I've told you about it. It's the Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and this one is in the light to medium. Can you see that cute little Becca? If you can or not, you just said I have to trust me on that. My little finger, pinky finger. Sorry, but I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at me. But I think I guess I can see you. This I love because I can get almost no sleep and it gives me a more wide awake look, effect kind of dewy. It doesn't settle on my creases much. I can use it in different places. I'm going to use it right here as a bit of a highlighter. Top of my cheekbone. On my nose. Especially since I haven't used any contour today. There, we're done. Okay, the things that I've used, I'm really loving. I've used them for a little bit. This It Cosmetics CC Corrector, and this is the light to medium. It's got the SPF in it. I'm loving this Becca Under Eye Concealer, or Brightener, Under Eye Brightener Corrector. Love it. My Tarte Concealer, just use a tiny, tiny little bit of that. The Huda Beauty little lip kits oh my gosh if you see them in the little lip oh they're so cute i i, I want to put them on the wall in my in the studio up there but they come in the little little lips these to me are absolutely fantastic i love them my urban decay naked palette awesome and the scala corrector and it works really really well 
I am loving, I don't know if you can see up close because this lighting in here, like I said, is not the best, but I'm really liking this color. The, and once again, it's Radiant Magenta by Hourglass. Love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to finish up with, I got a powder, Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals, because, sorry, because I, I like having that extra layer of SPF going on, and it says it's 25, but we all know that a lot of times, you know, product, product distribution, the sun, your skin, or whatever, it may not give it be a, a true 25, just like with the, the um, color corrector I use, that may not be a true 50, so you want to keep reapplying it if you're going to be in the sun and if you care about your skin, but I'm just going to lightly set with this. Oops. So thanks for joining me. And in the morning, I will be, like I said, going to the second, I mean, third, the final session of the Madonna Eye Lift. And so I will see if he'll let me film a little bit in there. If not, maybe he'll let me get some pictures. Then I'll see you again after when I get home. Actually, it's all going to be in one video, okay? I'm not going to upload like two different videos. So let's, let's just kind of get real. And I'll do the same thing as I did before. I'll go through the first few days and then follow up weekly so you can see the changes but so far I'm loving it yes see you can still see that I have wrinkles and crow's feet and that is okay they're just not like the tissue paper looking kind of um, skin that you would have had or that I had before and so for that fact alone, this procedure is amazing. I do have to admit it has me a little freaked out because it hurt a little bit more last time than it did the first time. But you know what? I can get through it, right? Okay, I love you guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow, if not before. Thanks. And please subscribe, everyone. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.